So this is Wang Yan Long, and he's facing Bo Kao. Bo Kao's 41 already. So here we go. Look at that. He's trying some kung fu techniques. Going in aggressive. Ooh, Bo Kao just swept him. Bo Kao's like, okay, this is cool. So Kung Fu Master obviously wants to knock out Bo Kao. Look at the size difference, dude. Oh, not bad. Bo Kao almost doing a capoeira move right there. He almost did a jole. Oh, ooh, he got kicked in the N-U-T-S. Look at Bokao. He's like, he kicked me down there. So the ref's like, yo, be careful. Don't kick him down there. So obviously we saw some really interesting techniques that you could argue come from Kung Fu. Right? So he wasn't just a kickboxer pretending to be Kung Fu. So... Mm, I just don't know what the long-term game plan of the Kung Fu Master is. Because obviously he's wasting so much energy. See? Also falling or getting swept. I think he fell that time. Wasting so much energy. You know how Buck Cow is. Oof. Buck Cow just got kicked down in the NUTS again. So. You know what happens. We've seen. Even on our channel. If you make Buck Cow angry. He might really hit you hard. So, uh-oh, uh-oh, down there again. Oh, down there again. Oh, that one looked like it hurt, man. Now Bookhouse angry. Now Bookhouse angry. He's going to stalk him down. Same exact kick again. Look at that. Look at Okay. Bookhouse trying to play with jamming the distance. Oh, look at that. He's understanding the distance of the Kung Fu Master a little bit. Oh, good hook by Kung Fu Master. Oh, there you go. Clinch range. I guess Bookhouse thinking I can beat him in clinch range. Ooh, nice. Nice little kick of the support leg. Kung Fu Master's getting scared. Kung Fu Master's getting scared. Oh, Bookhouse jammed his range. Boom, not bad. So... Look at that, stalking him down. Oh, boom. So, Kung Fu Masters complaining about the rules. Complaining about the rules. He's saying you cannot do multiple knees in the clinch. But Bookhow only threw one knee in the clinch. I think we can all agree Bookhow only threw one knee in the clinch, okay? I will show you guys another angle, but he's basically sort of going to go talk to the officials and claim that Bookhow violated the rules. So that's what's going on right now. He's like, this isn't Muay Thai. We didn't agree on Muay Thai rules. He's like, he's not supposed to knee me even once. And Bookhow's like, come on, man. The rules say I can knee him once in the clinch. So there's going to be a big, big, big debate about this. And I will show you guys another angle of this where you can see him kind of argue with the officials what's ironic is that he kicked him the kung fu master kicked him in the nuts quite a lot of times but there wasn't any complaint about that i mean there was a vocal complaint look it's just one that was one knee in the clinch that's allowed maybe the one knee was so hard the kung fu master thought it was two you never know right i don't know what he wants to do i don't know what he wants but yeah, so, unfortunately, every single audience member is angry. And as you guys will see later, as I'll show you other angles, they're angry at the Kung Fu Master. They are not angry at Bo Kao. Bo Kao is like, I don't know if he speaks Chinese, but probably in Thai. He's like, one is fine, and look at you hitting me down there all the time. Are you going to promise not to hit me down there? So, are they going to continue? Are they going to continue? Guys, they're gonna continue. They're gonna continue, guys. They're gonna continue. There we go. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, look out through another knee. Ref's like, it's okay. One knee's fine. Look at that. Ref's on book outside too. Kung Fu Master's like, no, that's not fine. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh my goodness. 
Dude, there is no way the Kung Fu Master misunderstood the rules. This is in China, by the way. This is held in China. I don't know whose corner he's talking. He's talking to Bookhouse Corner, maybe. And Bookhouse Corner's like, dude, we agreed. The rules were in Chinese, man. <laughs> the Kung Fu Master is debating its own rules. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so they're going to replay this. So... Bookout gets into clinch range. See, just one knee. Just one knee. He's like, it's one knee. It's fine. Kung Fu Master's like, no. Okay, so look at that. More debate. More debate. Oh, yeah, there we go. They're talking to the refs. They're talking to the officials. The officials are saying, no, the Bookout did the right thing. You can do one knee. It's fine. So I'll show you guys later where Bookout just gets so fed up because the audience wants to fight. So Bookout just starts hitting pads. So, look at that. A book out grabbed the ropes, though. I think you're allowed to do it. So, here's some highlights. Right there, right in the NUTS. Look at that. Book out almost doing a hole, a naked chief a hole. He probably learned that from Senchai. By the way, who do you think's going to win? Senchai versus Book out. They're about to have a bare knuckle Muay Thai rules match. Eventually, it's going to go to left way. See the Kung Fu Master right there? He's still trying to. Debate the officials about the rules that they set to be Bokel. <laughs> Bokel's beating them at the rules. Bokel's, Bokel's like, come on, man. Come on, people. So, looks like they're going to rule it a no contest or a draw. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, man. Is that it, man? They're going to rule it a no contest to draw. Oh. Come on, Kung Fu Master. Ah, uh, Wang Yan Long's his name. Okay, I'll show you guys some other angles. Yes, I know. He said no knee. I 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 said no knee. to any fighter friends of yours you can ask them and they'll tell you that if you go to a country that's not your own or you go to a promotion that's not your own you're probably going to get unfavorable refing by the refs so when Bukau took a few of those low blows unfortunately that kind of stuff is a little bit expected but changing the rules mid-match is still something that I think any fighter who even expects unfavorable treatment they're not going to get so that's where the line gets crossed. So you can ask fighter friends of yours. And if you guys are fighters watching this channel, let me know what you think. And if anyone can connect me with Bukal's team, I would love to interview them about what happened. Okay, guys. Talk to you guys soon. Fight commentary breakdowns out.